happen again. Let's do it live. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> it, we'll do it live. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, for another episode of Oath Discussions. It's episode 58. I have with me your other favorite code host, eggs, cheese, ham, and grapes, Mr. Gary. (laughs) 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 And more shenanigans is to follow, but we have the one and only Webb himself. He's in the building. Hey, what's going on with you? Everything's good. Now, this would be a great group, but we have the we have the one and only Lady of Openton, Miss Shayna. Hello, hello. Yeah, woo! All right, <laughs> we're gonna release it at some point, but there was uh, so many <clears throat> audio shenanigans, <laughs> hilarious, so much. But Shayna couldn't hear us at all. Yeah, just complete static. So. Now that's working. That's good. I like the idea of Webb being Webb himself as his actual like full name. It's like um Webb Share. <laughs> <laughs> I, like that. Just like I was gonna go like maybe like Usher or maybe No there's a oh, there's a cartoon there's said. like a cartoon character or like a show character that is that is something himself or something like that. I can't remember what it was though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Yeah. Um so, so Webb, you will now be known as Webb himself. Did everybody just stop talking? Or <laughs> oh, I think my I think you might have been adjusting my <laughs> What are you doing, sir? So. Sir. <clears throat> sir. Stop adjusting stuff while we're on live. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, man. I can hear you. You're good. Okay, okay. cool, cool, cool. I think you might have been adjusting mine instead. Uh, but what's <laughs> <laughs> this guy? But anyway, uh, I've always been known as Web. I mean, granted, Webb yeah, himself. Nobody, everybody just didn't want to say Emmanuel. They just wanted to say, hey, Web. Yeah, so it worked out. Well, I, I, Even I, when we had Chris Web, oh, he yeah. had my same name. But we I was the only one. Him, that we Webb. never called him Web, though. Yeah, I think I've used your name like six times in my life, like your actual first name. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I introduced you to my mom as, it, no, I, first time was, uh, this is Emmanuel. And then she was like, who? I said, this is Webb. <laughs> yeah, see, even she knew. Even she knew. Yeah, it's okay. It's um, funny, like, my wife's uh, friend, uh-huh. my wife. she, like, they all, everybody in that family straight up knew me as Webb. And then it wasn't until I got married when they started using Emmanuel, and that just started, that felt weird. You know why? <laughs> just hearing that. They, they were showing uh, you respect. Friend. They was like, we, we acknowledge you, sir. <laughs> yeah, at the same time, it's still, it's just kind of weird. It's just kind of like, you know, you're an amputee, and you get a, like a prosthetic <laughs> leg, and you're just trying to work that out. And it's like, it's a new life for me, but wait, I don't want marriage to sound like an amputation. <laughs> you just did. You on that. just did. There's only two of y'all that are married on this podcast. So, well, three, if we include very, Jacob. <laughs> very misdirected. Yeah, right, yeah, we include Jacob as three. <laughs> uh, three. <laughs> so, so I, we're just going to segue. You know, <laughs> does your wife listen? Gary's back. Nah. Oh, okay, you're good then. Um, I'm safe. Yeah, I'm you're, so you're safe. Because Gary don't listen anyway, so... Um, so she'll never know. <laughs> Gary, are you why? So with that all going on, uh, let's just, you know, make it around the room one time and uh, see how everybody's been. <laughs> you know, besides Webb going through his amputee-ness of, of marriage. <laughs> Shayna, how hey, have you man. been doing? What have you been up to since the last podcast? Oh, yeah, we can hear you. Rocket just scared the crap out of me. I didn't even know he was here. You like somebody was sneaking up behind you. I was like, wait a minute. I was like, well, podcast is over. I'll be back. <laughs> was... Oh, he scared me. Sorry. No, uh, I've been busy as always. You know, never stops. But um, after I left you guys on Sunday, I ventured out, which is something I don't do very often. I was trying to go to a salsa night, but through lack of diversity in Louisville, Kentucky, it wasn't much of a salsa night. Your alternative facts. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it with your alternative <laughs> facts. I'm not dealing with this right now. I was kind of surprised. 
<laughs> I'll be coming when it after. comes what do you think to salsa nights and things like that really are you saying New Albany's better culture like that. are you saying New Albany has a flourishing no, salsa I don't think you're saying who, that. who brought New Albany into the equation at all nobody I, I don't you think you in my city like that Brent is a avid uh, salsa enthusiast so <laughs> I knew there were. I'm surprised he wasn't there. To be completely honest, I'm kind of surprised. No, I could. It's disappointing. There's a nice atmosphere and everything, but they just didn't have the right crowd. It was awkward because it was mostly like you could tell it was like the older crowd that vacations a lot and takes salsa lessons. It was those people. Oh, okay. So no, nobody was really (laughs) authentic. When no real, they was all faking. Nobody was down for the culture. <laughs> oh, hey, muchos gracias. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. oh, goodness. This episode's yes. amazing already. <laughs> you heard that new song, Despacito? <laughs> it's like, Despacito. Wait, why do you pronounce it every letter? Like, <laughs> every to dance word. with me? They <laughs> say the whole word. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> to dance oh with me, to dance with me. <laughs> well, it sounds like you had a uh, yeah fun. Anything, yeah. It, was, it was interesting. Nice. Anything else interesting happened? The best part of the night. Yeah, we left there pretty quickly because even the drinks were shit. Oh, they were strong and overpriced. Oh, terrible. So went next door to Tap Room. Shout out to Tap Room for te- oh, yeah. cheap, strong drinks as they should be. Um, but we're outside on the porch of Tap Room chilling, and you know, a nice innocent semi truck driver was just trying to make his stops, his stops, and uh, he's trying to go to Chipotle. <laughs> the man, poor man. That was your first. Everyone on Bardstown Road was against him. They wouldn't help. Him. And then he knew he had fucked up. <laughs> and then he so knew. Douchebag. <laughs> and this Mustang parked his car. Nobody could find him, and he was blocking the way. The man got stuck, and he kept trying to go more and more, and he had, like, about an inch away from hitting the Mustang. Oh. And he kept trying. And it was one of those things where he was blocking both sides of Bargetown Road. Oh. So he goes in, he stops, he gets out, he looks again, and then he tries, and he backs up, and he tries to go more. And at this point, everyone's just so fascinated because we're so bored with our lives. Everyone's just standing on the street drinking <laughs> their drinks and watching this man trying to maneuver <laughs> his truck. I, I just want to <laughs> note... Over that under, was... he takes out the over, <laughs> over under, he takes out the Mustang. Everybody's on the side making bets. <laughs> I'll it, take was that so... under. it was wonderful. Right. It was he wonderful. would have gave it a love tap a long time ago. I could take that under. Right, yeah. God, oh, the funny. best part, a lovely queen. He was fabulous. He was on his way to Nowhere Bar. But oh, okay. he stopped and decided he wanted to be the traffic guard. So he was basically voguing, but trying to like. Ah, oh, so good. Hey, well, so I see what you did there. It was a good night. It's so good. <laughs> you, no one can, no one can talk about your your voguing skills if you're helping them, helping them out. I got you. Yeah. I see it what you like did weird, there. It sounds like. A was weird. there any music in the background? Yeah, please. No music. It was just dead silence. So he was just oh. going to like the sounds <laughs> of the crowd. <laughs> he was dancing to the time. to the rhythm of the street. <laughs> <laughs> to the beat like of the of, heart of the city. One of those weird MasterCard commercials you see on like a back lot in Hollywood where all this random shit's just going on. You're like, what? That's really how my night felt because I don't Mark- go out at all. <laughs> like Samuel Jackson's like walking through the middle. What's in your wallet? Look at this behind you. What is going on right now? There's a semi about to take somebody out. <laughs> Can you sit? That's exactly yeah, of like course, it. traffic people got pissed though. But he ended up having to back out and go all the way around. He didn't get to make his delivery, but it was nice to watch because he he gave it a good go for about twenty twenty five minutes. He tried. So, shouts out to the man voguing, helping out traffic because <laughs> all you other people have failed <laughs> have failed the city. <laughs> Y'all couldn't even help one man get away. Y'all could have pushed wow. the car over. I told my husband about it when we got back. He's like, why didn't you just get, like, three right. people and move the car forward? I was like, because we're all drunk. Nobody thinks they can move a car. Only you bodybuilders think this way. <laughs> I, I think I That's can move a car. That's why we needed you there. I'm not just, a bodybuilder. Because there was enough people standing around watching that. We could have moved that car You all could have so just lifted fast. it or turned it. Like, you all could have turned it. <laughs> lifted it and threw it in the front of taproom. <laughs> That's actually one of my favorite stories I've heard my cousins tell. 
They were, uh, somebody was being like a little douche in a parking lot or whatever. It was like parked in like three spots somehow. So mm-hmm. everybody like came up, lifted their car and turned it like, like boxed it in somehow a little, but they lifted the car and moved it somewhere. So it wouldn't be Jeez. able to get out. Yeah. That's great. So like they would then have to wait for other people to come and then get out. Like it's like so some good. just notorious messed up stuff, but, um, good. I yeah. like that. Uh, Shayna, that, that's yeah, Lexington, so it's, unless it's on State Street during March. Yeah, that's about it. What? So that's the only time you got to worry about it when it's in Lexington is if it's on like, uh, what'd on you State say, State Street? State Street. Oh, yeah, on State Street during like March Madness. That's the only time you got to worry about something like that happen. Nah, Other than that, you should be able to get out. <laughs> <laughs> true. True. <laughs> Most places you should be able to get out, but but I guess it depends. Yeah. Sh- Shayna. That, nice. That that sounds like a a very fun weekend. Um, uh, you know, sights and Barstown Road can give you sights no matter Absolutely. when you go, right? Yep. Exactly. And I went from one extreme to the next. I went from a salsa night to mm-hmm. the tap room, which you know is mostly like a grunge mm-hmm. place. Should have went yeah. to nowhere. And then love that place so much. Uh, yeah, I wasn't just we weren't feeling it that night. We were kind of okay. low key, just chilling. But then my cousins called me, so I ended up at billiards, which is. Oh, nice. That's the I don't even know how to describe hall. that. Place. Okay, so billiards is a pool hall that has now been changed into basically a pool hall club. Oh, really? Like it's that bad in there you. that it's like a band or DJs playing every like all weekend, especially Sunday nights. And um, now there's still like pool tables, but now it's the place to be like on a Sunday night. <laughs> That's dope. Yeah. yeah, I haven't been up forever. Um, it can be dope. I've heard some great stories and some horror stories. So, <laughs> I'd imagine. Does uh, backdoor count as a pool hall? Backdoor is a pool hall, but it's a bar. Like backdoor That's is just a say. dive bar. The only thing I worried about is aren't is, that ain't that kind of synonymous? Well, no. no well, how no, many how many pool, pool tables hall. do you have to have to be classified as a pool hall? That's my question. I'd say because I think it's I think backdoor four? has what four right or backdoor more? Backdoor has four or five, but I think yeah. if you want to be a pool hall. I think you're gonna need at least six plus, like probably. See, that's what I was worried about is that back door was under that that line. But like when you go to back door, most people don't go to back door to be like, "Hey, I'm gonna go shoot pool." Like you go to back door to get drinks and the food. food, Yeah, maybe like, and then you're like, "Ah, "I'll play skee ball or shoot some pool." Like while I'm back there, it's kind of like ah, they have it. (laughs) (laughs) Hit man. I like that too. Yeah, <laughs> it's one of those things where you're like, sitting it just looks and, seedy as hell. Yeah, yeah, you're sitting there eating and drinking with su- in such close proximity to a pool table. You're like, well, fuck it, I might as, as well. well. <laughs> like it's right there. Um, yeah, so that, that's kind yeah, of the. Well that's... Over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's great. but but uh, <laughs> but since <laughs> but since uh, well, go ahead and tell us uh, what what have you been up to. <laughs> I think I should go last. Oh, you want to go last? Gary, you're up. Just like that, Gary, you're up. Well, I haven't been doing much of nothing. I mean, I got back from Pittsburgh. That's why I missed last week's episode. Had a nice shoot, nice wedding shoot. Mm -hmm. Uh, It was fun. I always like Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is kind of weird because, like, it's... (laughs) You said shooting. Right. (laughs) I thought thought we were calling you at that pool hall. (laughs) I know, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. I had an assassination I had to take out in Pittsburgh. No, uh, I had a target. Uh, Pittsburgh's awesome because it's like it's super old Mm -hmm. like there's no like when you're either here in Lexington and Louisville kind of has this quality too where like there's a bunch of like old like houses and shit like still heavily populated there's not like these huge sprawling fucking uh, what's it called like developments with all these houses that were built in the last like less than five years okay Mm. Pittsburgh like all Pittsburgh houses are like Super well, that was old. around during Thirteen Colonies, wasn't it? That's yeah. for that particular city. So. Yeah, and then you have the whole like like the the, the steel working like area, the whole industrial area that like where everybody used to work at, which some people still do. But like one of the things that, like you always see with the houses is all the houses in Pittsburgh are usually like three tier, and the bottom tier usually has a door to like enter in. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's basically like a basement, but there's not like a garage. But the reason why they do that is because normally there's a basement like where you can enter in the door and there's normally a toilet right in the middle of the room with no doors around it. Because what they used to do is the steel workers would come from the mills. Yeah, they'd be filthy and they would go straight into they would enter the house in the basement to clean off and stuff. 
before they would come upstairs for dinner. Oh, okay. So, like, all the houses are still designed like that, which it looks pretty cool because, like, Pittsburgh is obviously, like, crazy hilly, too. So, yeah, no, it's awesome. Uh, other than that, got these two new synths and been trying to work on some new stuff. Uh, trying to pull my hair out, but fucking awesome to be punched over a uh, keyboard and synthesizer uh, again for long periods of time. <laughs> I, was, I was wondering where you were going with that. Yeah. No, but uh, yeah, cool. other than that, same old thing. No real video games. I'm kind of putting video games on the back burner while I work on some shit. So. <sighs> Yeah. Okay. Is that the big of a deal? I have to, dude. <laughs> because it's one of those things, like, either I'm going to come home and, like, play a video game, or I'm going to come home and, like, work on music for a few hours and just sit here with my headphones on. <laughs> there was a time you could do both. Yeah, that's, yeah, there was. But shit don't work that's like that no you more. you getting old, sir. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, really. But, yeah, no, it's some good, good shit. Hopefully some good shit coming. All right, we'll be looking forward to it. I think I heard a, a sample today. Uh, it sounds like Shit. it's off to a right track. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah. So, I guess this time I'll I'll tell about myself this week since yeah. I forgot last week. Um, <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> we got all over the place. Okay, it was like magical. That. I mean, well, if you get a chance, listen to episode like- fifty-seven. It's true to Romping form, Rampage, and uh, you can find out too what really happened. What's really good? <laughs> but no, um, man, life's good right now. Uh, I'm trying to think. First week of classes, so that's been interesting. I messed up one day. Uh, I, I didn't get an assignment turned in on the right time uh, uh, because sure. I read the dates wrong. Uh, okay, it was some fine print I didn't catch. So. Oh, I will be right. I will be making adjustments now for that. But the funny part was the assignment I had to write was about um, what would you do to make yourself successful in this class? Mm. As I turned the paper in late, (laughs) it's so good. I was like, the iron, amazing. Mm. You should have wrote volumes. Yeah, you should have wrote. You should wrote this. (laughs) This right here. What happened again? (laughs) Yeah, with a big exclamation mark on it. Like you get it, I'm like all right. Well, yeah, but um, I mean, besides it. that, <laughs> besides that, everything's been good. I've been trying to catch up on movie. I mean, uh, music. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been trying to check out this Bryson Tiller album. Yeah. Um, I think I've only made it like four tracks, and I was like, ah. I'll, I'll listen to that. Yeah. I haven't listened to the listen first album. To, uh, who else came out? I listened to Yachty's. Listen to Bryson's. I listened to somebody else's too. I can't remember who else came out. Any of them, any of them, Stella? New 21 Savage song video is crazy. But, um, Peekaboo? Yachty's oh, no, weird. no, 21 Savage. You said 27. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yachty's is really, it's just young. I mean, it's him through yeah, and through. It's, it's, it's weird. And it's, if you can get past the kind of offbeat cadence shit, like, I can't. you can't. Yeah, it's it's very hard. It's very hard to. No, you just save me time. I can't. So I'll just be sliding on. That makes so much of a difference. Swipe left. Like, and I saw a really good article the other day, like talking about that, like how important cadence is in hip hop, and like, yeah, fucking, that's right. And their example for somebody who does very well on cadence and has different like variances was like Kendrick, and then they talked about like Yachty, who like just kind of like the beats there because. You need a beat to dance, right? <laughs> like, you're not anymore. Uh, you're techno. It sounds like they recorded two different times, but uh, and then the uh, the Bryson album, I think it's it's good and it's fine. I've never been like, I liked the two songs, no three songs, sorry, on Trap Soul. Yeah, on Trap Soul. Mm-hmm. And it's always one of those things where I mean, it's it's every time you hear him say like a reference of like a highway or like he talks about Gene Snyder and shit like that, you kind of. I always kind of chuckle because we haven't had that. Oh, since yeah. Nappy Roots. <laughs> True. True. <laughs> like for real. Um, that just brought something to mind. Um, I listened to that. So was it a uh, mask off with uh, is it Kendrick? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I listened to that. <clears throat> I can't get past the meme videos of a uh, uh, Charles Manson dancing to it. I think it's just perfect in so many ways. 
Have you seen that? Mm-mm. I don't know. There's a video. So. Oh, oh okay. yeah. There's. A, I oh, thought you meant Marilyn Manson. No, no, no. Yeah, no. That's what I, like, I, I almost said Marilyn at first. No, Charles. You know who Charles Manson is? Famous murderer, crazy person. But there's this famous video of him, like when he was in, uh, like his deposition or whatever, like court, and he was sitting at the table. Then he gets up and he starts like doing like this weird like karate dance, oh, and okay. it fits perfectly to the beat of Mask Off. Find the video <laughs> and send it to us. How about that? Yeah, I, I need that. Desperately. Yeah, um, I got. You. Amazing. It makes that song so much better. But yeah, so besides all that, just uh just doing some background podcast work, you know. Uh we should have something special coming out here soon. Word. Uh we're gonna have some guests that's gonna be featured here the rest of the month. We're gonna put that in order, get these plans together. Um I can say more, but it's not about me. Let's go ahead and move on. Web, how you been? Okay. Uh, I've been doing pretty good. I forgot to mention on the last episode, because like we said, we got sidetracked crazy. <laughs> um, I listened to Bryson Tiller's album. Video soon. Honestly, that was forgettable, yeah, in my that's opinion. Yeah, I am too with him, which I feel bad. I feel like I should like well, him I liked, more. I like Trap Soul. Yeah, I can I actually did. recognize I like, a lot of Trap Soul. I tracks like Trap Soul better, especially because that, man, that fucking... The way that Timlin beat comes in on a uh, with the Street Fighter thing, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that beat is so nasty. Perfect, but yeah, I was hoping to see an evolution where he had more live instrumentation stuff, but yeah. uh, it hasn't. Let me give it some yet. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's still he's yeah. still new, so relatively, yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. But no, um, no, so Bryson Tiller, I listened to True to Self. Uh, I listened to Little Yachty Friday, expecting us to do an episode on that. Shana. Oh boy! Shayna just watched the video to, to the mask. I can tell. I can just. I just saw it start laughing. It's so good. I love it so much, man. It fits perfectly because he looks like he's fucking out of it at first. Then he just gets up and kills it. <laughs> oh, oh, that brought me so much joy. I'm really into like serial killers and murders. So I like studied all about him, so it just makes it funnier. There's a good Twitter called uh, the Sketch Factor that does a lot of like history facts on like oh, all the serial. That's yeah. crazy. Uh, I, Bryson, I listened to Little Yachty. I had a bunch of thoughts on it. Mm-hmm. His explanation for the title and the and the album cover, it doesn't doesn't hold up to the expectations for that album. Right. Uh, you would expect him to kind of branch out a little bit and kind of go from there. Maybe like, here, hey, I'm different, but nah, it's the same. Fuck your bitch. Now I came up, flashy shit. Yeah, it's weird because like he tries to distance himself from like regular rap shit. But like all he's talking about lyrically is regular basic rap shit. Yeah. Which I find ironic. It's kind of weird. Yeah. And 21 tracks. Yeah, it's oh, super long. God. It's long as shit, by the way. Y'all. I got I literally got fatigued by track 17. <laughs> and it was like, oh, no, I'm doing this for the podcast. I'm doing this for the podcast. Do it for the culture, we, man. Is it, <laughs> you got to do yeah, it really? for the culture. That's all I'm doing this for. I'm doing it for the culture, y'all. There, there were at least three tracks I liked. But that's a seventh of the album, so right, yeah, exactly. I'm not gonna listen to it again. Uh, so there's that. <laughs> so uh, <funny>. as far <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Next, uh, after that, I wanted to get that out the way. Uh-huh. I finished "Black Privilege" by Charlemagne the God. Okay, yeah, I saw uh, you. I recommend it, as y'all talked about it or on the last episode. Nice. Uh, right. Definitely worth a listen or worth a read, whichever method y'all prefer. Pro tip, listening to podcasts or audiobooks at two times speed, I'd recommend it. Okay. I'd recommend it. Get half that sh- or get that shit done in half the time. I need to do that. Really? And, uh, I, I never it doesn't mess up the flow at all. We were talking about no. that before we started. And that, that's what I thought about it initially. I was like, man, I feel like some stuff would get either lost or I would miss stuff, but apparently it works out fine. It really does. It's kind of weird. It's kind of almost exactly like if someone is just speaking to you like an auctioneer, but you're still retaining that information. Right. I and it. Okay. it really sticks with you, then then yeah, you'll rock with it. But it's just like listening to a New York nigga talk. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> <An hour. laughs> yeah, boom. I'll tell you what, man. Oh, that's oh, quick sidebar thing. I started finally listening because I've been watching it, but I finally started listening to the Bodega Boys. And Jesus Christ, that fucking show is hilarious, It man. is hilarious. God, they're so good, man. And those fucking uh, AKs they do at the beginning of every, beginning and outro of every episode, I'm like... Oh, man. Like, I'll see For them other... to remember, memorize all yeah, this. Yeah, that's what I was...
did we lose you? Cause I okay. Um, as we get <laughs> them back, we're gonna uh, take a small intermission. Don't go anywhere, you guys. It's not you, it's us. And uh, I don't know either. <sighs> Hold on, one. Second. There we go. Let me call them back real quick. But in the meantime, so Shayna, I've been listening to like random podcasts, like more random. I've been listening to a whole bunch of new podcasts, and mm-hmm. I was thinking of. Well, no, no, no. I was listening to. Um, I sent you one of them. I can't remember what it was called off the top of my head right now. The, uh, oh, I can't remember the name. I got it. Let me, uh, st- so still processing. I'm about to check out some episodes on that. But, um, the Positive Head podcast. And I was uh-huh. listening to the episode. Um, I can't, this is the one time I can't remember the name of the lady lady who they took the uh, stem cells of i mean they stored her cells henrietta flax yeah i think we're close i think we're close if anybody has the correct name send to us i want to say flax sir yeah so I, I got to listen to that, and that was a that was an amazing episode. Um, was it some things you should know? That flax. Po- flax, yeah, that flax. you got it. Just so we get it, put some respect on her name. I do want to put some respect on. She her did name. a lot for science. Yeah, but I never knew that story. So that was actually pretty interesting to hear. That one, um, I wasn't surprised that her family didn't know. Or mm-hmm. that they actually was trying to pull like a, a like a low key power move on them, like try to get more sales. And Skype that. had enough of that shit and cut the connection. <laughs> yeah, Skype said nope. So, so after that, let me. Uh, I finished Black. Oh no, I finished Black Privilege by Charlamagne God. Right. I can't recommend that enough. We were talking about double speed. Oh, I got the uh, Skype on my end. Testing, testing. Not yep, still, still doing. Why is it still done all of a sudden? Okay, testing. There it goes. That better? Hello. All right, all right. And just for the entire month of June, I did a personal challenge to create a video every day for Black Music Month. Yeah, yep. I've seen that. I Yeah, I am currently yeah. on day four. I'm, I need to upload that after this episode. Right. And go from there. So. And after. Oh, so go ahead. So I had talked. Um, probably with Shayna, probably some months ago. But um, hey, oh wow. Um, so she can't wave at the whole crew. Is that how we're gonna be? She did. She did. It's just oh, she missed. Okay. Couldn't see it. From My bad. All right, she gets a pass. Um, I was gonna do when I seen you start doing the um, the month the daily uh, black music um, mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. I listened to a couple of them. Um, I'll, mm-hmm. I'll finish catching up on the other two. Um, I wanted to do, I'll probably end up posting something that's um, just kind of like my thoughts of the day. It might just be, uh, you know, inspirational quote that I've seen or a conversation that I had that or like a theme that I had all week. Because um, like this week, the theme of the week that I, when I talked to everybody was um, pursuing your dreams. Like if I boiled it down to something, it would be like, pursuing your dreams are not giving up on x y and z okay. uh, and I'm, I'm gonna do like a little mini i'm not gonna say it's gonna be daily but you know because i'm not steve harvey but um <laughs> you know I, I think i'm gonna do something similar that like you're posting yourself but uh my bad keep on going do it like i mean it's good work too it's good work too gotta do it i like appreciate it because i did all of that on my phone god oh, is love rev run <laughs> <laughs> and put the phone put the phone beside the tub Yo, y'all get enough. <laughs> y'all y'all, y'all get enough like, messages from me, so I try not to do that. <laughs> Shayna cuts yeah, me that's... out the next day. She be like, "Look here, motherfucker. That's why I muted everything. If you send one more damn message, I be like, but it, it, it was all inspirational. It was this and that. You send one more damn message. 
Yes, ma'am. Oh my god. I'm out. I'm out. I won't say it anymore. So, That's good. True story. Right, so what? Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to post something every day with Black Music Month. My laptop ain't working like it needs to, so I've been doing all of that using just my phone, using the Movie Maker on the, my phone. So shout out to Samsung. Yeah. yeah. No, movie no sponsor. Maker? Nowadays you can do it. We're gonna have to talk after the show. You're gonna have to tell me about this Movie Maker. Will do. What is this camera you speak of? And last but not least, uh, as far as what I did this week, I, just last night I watched Wonder Woman. Me too. And DC broke oh. the streak. Hey. 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 DC well, broke I'm the streak. You. I got one too. Yo. It's old though. What? What you mean? I finally watched Doctor Strange. That motherfucker is bad. Are you serious? <laughs> Are we doing awesome. this right now? I love that movie so much. It's so good. Hey. If we weren't recording, I would say something slick to you right now. That's fine. <laughs> but <Okay>. Doctor Strange, <laughs> hold on. So let's cover Doctor Strange real quick. Doctor Strange yeah. for Gary, since you're like, I love it super so much. Late. It was one of, <laughs> it was one of those like the the way I really figured out how much I liked it was, I've been watching it for an hour and a half, mm-hmm. and then I was like, oh man, this must. It didn't feel like it. I was like, oh, it's only been on for like 30, 45 minutes. And that's I looked at Wonder Woman. I got 20 minutes left. Like, I was like, damn it. I was like, I could watch this for like four hours. Like, it's so good. <laughs> so I'm, and it's, the special effects are gorgeous and ridiculous. Did, did you? Now, they're two separate movies, but I think you'll be able to roll with me on this. Is it up there with Inception for you? Yeah. See, that's the obvious comparison somebody's yeah. going to make because yeah, of Yeah, because the... everything flips around. Um. But Inception is a mind trip, and Doctor Strange it's, is a mind trip. The, here's that's kind of where I go with it for like connection. Here's the the thing that I like about it is, yeah, that's that's a good way to put it. But it adds complexity and depth to something that can be very simple. Normally, you think a superhero here is their superpower. I'm super strong. I'm super fast. I run fast. I hit hard. He's literally doing magic spells. And, like, they look so dope when they're doing... They don't just, like, punch somebody, even though they do, kind of. They fight. But, like, if they want to take... So, like, they want to summon something. Like, it mm-hmm. looks like somebody's doing a fucking... Sorry. Like, they're having a dance-off with somebody. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> throwing <laughs> jitsu. Yeah, I love it, That's man. not new. We have Naruto. We have Harry Potter. Magic no, isn't new for a I'm hero. I'm talking about action comic book. Not... I know we've got that, obviously. But I'm talking about live action... Marvel or DC comic book. That's what I'm talking about. Dr. Strange is like, really good. I like, yeah. And I, and I can't wait to see. It's one of those things like where you see it happening. And then like even in like the opening, you see the Avengers Tower in the background. Mm-hmm. And obviously the references and stuff. It's one of those things where like almost like when you meet somebody that like is either like or you like see a band for the first time. And you really like them. And you're like, man, I can't wait till my friends hear this band. It's one of those things where I can't wait for him to start doing that shit around like Tony and the rest of the Avengers. Like where he starts doing fucked up magic shit. And they're like, what the? Wait a minute. Like, wait a minute. We didn't even know there was this side of superheroes. Uh, let alone, like, we thought everybody was just strong and throwing shit. He's like, and then all, sudden, he, he's then all like, of a sudden he fucking takes you to another dimension or like rewinds time and fucks everything up. I don't think you're going to get too much of that because he's more or less like the magical Wolverine. Like basically, he's off to himself as much as he can, but when like well, something's gotta, like so big, he comes and ends that shit. Like he comes and fucks shit up. Like he's well, he's the finisher. He's the closer. If this was baseball, he's the closer. You bring him in, game's over. Lights out. We're going home with the with the dub. That's what he's about. In Infinity War, we know it's not going to be that way. Yeah, we know it's going to be a lot. You know, we know he's going to be around for more than just like we're going to let Doctor Strange finish it. Like, we know they're not going to write it that way. Well, but that's what his, like, that's when he shows up. He's like the finisher in this yeah. all guy cast of uh, yeah. people with the Infinity War and things like that. But you also have to, um, but hold on. Since you brought in the all guy cast, things like that, you have this over the top macho action movies, things like that. I didn't mean it like that. No, no, no. Just roll with me. Um, <laughs> Um, then you have Transition. then you have the movie like Wonder Woman, which mm-hmm. is um, they do use magic. Mm-hmm. They do use uh, a lot of hand hand to hand fighting movies, but the themes in the movies was quite different. 
mm-hmm. but also you also got a chance for women to come and uh they did like special showings for women like uh to watch the movie which i thought was pretty cool would you want me to well yeah well no here, let me here, let me let me help you out is <laughs> the alamo draft house which is a uh, theater chain in texas yep they decided to do a girls night only screening for just one room one room mm-hmm. i think just one night yeah just one showing right and people outrage culture struck again people right. are being upset yeah and bitch are complaining about it right uh, and as far as uh, with wonder woman Folks were sitting there trying to comment and going, like, oh, well, if we had an all dude showing for Iron Man or Spider-Man or Superman, then people would be throwing a fit. It's like, nigga, just because the name has man in it doesn't mean that superhero is specifically for men. Right. Exactly. As far and like, that's kind of like when people make that complaint about, oh, well, if we made a black or white Black Panther or a white Blade or a white Luke Cage, people will be upset. But here you all are sitting there making our superheroes different colors other than white. And it's like. Well, first of all, you just named characters. It's the same argument we had last year. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I know, yeah, or, yeah, yeah. It's the same argument we made. We had. Yeah. You're cha- you're specifically changing the race of people that were made specifically for rep- representation. Mm-hmm. These characters were made specifically to or for a culture. Right. As far as you making a white Luke Cage, that's not what Luke Cage was about at the beginning. Like Luke Cage was a superhero specifically for helping out in the black community, things right. of that nature. Mm-hmm. Superman is one an illegal alien <laughs> right, <laughs> that yeah. showed up to that it's happens to be in America soul. and is willing to fight for truth justice in the American way. So you're kind of defeating your whole purpose. Even no matter what race Superman Superman was gonna be, point blank period, that does not change the essence in the person that Superman is. Right. Exactly. If you're sitting there changing the race of a Black Panther or a Luke Cage mm-hmm. or something like that, you are specifically changing the essence of that character. You are specifically changing what that person represents or what, yeah, as far as that representation and culture. Right. Uh, so did y'all have any thoughts regarding the certain screening there with Alamo Draft House? No, I like the fact that they did that. That's awesome. The main thing I saw, like, yeah, like you said, there was a lot of, like, outrage culture, kind of stupid stuff that came out. Was the biggest thing, which I know you're probably going to move on to, was the Fox thing. Uh, yeah. Which plays perfectly into what you just said, talking about, like, how the guy from Fox was, like, uh, he doesn't like the fact that, like, uh, Wonder Woman, wasn't Wonder Woman isn't, American, isn't enough. American enough. And I'm like, first? <laughs> first, she's an Amazon. She's Amazon. First off, yeah, exactly. She's Amazonian. Actually, she's not even from America. She's from Amazonia. I mean, and... like, that's, what I, that's what I feel like. You got to get the nerd voice in, but then you also got to well, kick some actually, ass at the same time. And yeah. then, you know, depending <laughs> on how you take the movie, yeah, you know, there's there's that yeah, type like, of feeling, the origin of comic books, and and how the movie plays it. Um, Which I actually I actually enjoyed that mistake because it's so easy to be like, God damn, you sound like a fucking idiot. Who knows nothing about the subject matter? <laughs> Just when when somebody gets mad off something like that, you're like, it's so e- it's one of those like where sometimes when we go into these things and somebody brings up something, you're like, I don't want to argue this shit. But then like sometimes somebody brings up something stupid, and you're like, oh, I can just I can fucking drag you right now if I want to. Like it's so easy. So it's just stupid when somebody gets mad off that and they have no idea like the the background. They're literally just getting mad at something for the sake of being mad about it. What was you about to say? China, what's up? I want to get your thoughts first. If you if you want to weigh in on this, I mean, he, it, uh, there's nothing else to say. People are just want to be mad for the sake of being mad, just because. Oh well, they got this. Where we didn't get this, but right. y'all have everything. White men, sit down. Where you have everything. Right. It's a grade school style argument. We're like, have me. Why did they get the chocolate ice cream? We only got vanilla. It's like, dude, shut up. Then you have You've had the whole buffet to yourself for <laughs> yeah, a couple exactly. last past however many years. Exactly. Let these motherfuckers <laughs> in on the table. You got that uh what was that movie the uh where the special needs dude was like, What the fuck did we get ice cream? <laughs> what movie is that? The movie with uh Johnny Knoxville. Oh, the ringer? The ringer, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Get ice cream, like one of the. That's you know, so <laughs> funny. That's what that reminds me of. What the fuck did we get ice cream? Uh, As a, and the main, the funniest stupid, part about man. that complaint uh-huh. was they were going like, "Oh well, I guess you know Hollywood wants to sit there and appeal international." 
or appeal to the international audience and stuff like that. So they're just going to dumb down the American aspect of Wonder Woman. She used to wear red, white, and blue. Now it's red, gold, and blue. And now they're sitting there just trying to push it, push their agenda. And it's like, it's like they don't want to punch you in the face. (laughs) And the thing about Wonder Woman was that (laughs) did they watch the movie? No, no. no. When I I hear this, when I I hear this, I promise you. Yeah. When I hear this, like you, you can't watch that movie and come out with that same mindset because no, it's surfer. I I don't, I don't want to. I want to like go in on this movie, but. I'll, I'll wait. I, like well, I as far as kind of blanket, we can kind of blanket statement without spoilers or anything yeah, like yeah. that. Okay. And here's the other thing I want to get into: getting past kind of like the outrage thing, which I mean, obviously, is something we're gonna have to fucking deal with every time we run into this situation. We may have changed. We may need to change this episode or this show. The outrage, <laughs> yeah, outrage, outrage culture. culture. Yeah, really. Outrage as fuck. That's what OFL stand for from now on. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> Welcome but to another episode a, of Outrage as Fuck. Outrage as Fuck, yeah. It, it gets real, but the Can thing is... it will make now? Yeah, it'll be... It, we'll switch it and pivot it to that, but it'll get even more on the kind of like calmer uh, NPR side. Like, we're like, welcome to Outrage as Fuck. <laughs> on today's show, we're going to talk about these motherfuckers. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Okay. So here's my thing. It's like looking at this movie. I'm glad it's good. First and foremost, uh, yes. Or is it? Ooh, shout out, um, <laughs> shout out to <laughs> shout out to Wonder Woman because uh, yeah. they broke a box office record mm-hmm. uh, as far as the biggest opening weekend for a female director. That's great. Patty Jenkins, uh, and was I was director. Hey, hey, hey. Was a hundred point five million. Yeah. That weekend, mm-hmm. and it beat out uh, the director Sam Taylor Johnson. Who did Fifty Shades of Grey? Yes, which made eighty two point five million yes. on their opening weekend. Woo. Right, shout out to one of them. That so, was whack. here's my thing: is going forward, do we think this positive? Um, I guess the way it came out on the back end, do we think this is going to bleed into the rest of the movies? Being Batman, Justice League, and Aquaman, do we think they are going to hopefully receive the same care that this received? And be at the level that this is. I was going to say that. I don't Um, trust. So when you you say that, although I think this movie was was actually good, this movie was flawed as fuck. Oh, yeah. Like, like, there is some. Can I I say just one, one pet peeve? Go ahead. Is it a spoiler? No. It's like the costume. Oh, okay. Oh, Fox News. Uh, Which one? Yeah, the um, uh, no, 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 co- not the costume. Oh, there, there are moments where um, you kind of write it off as like how Superman or Spider Man just magically changes clothes. Like, uh, like a scene that happened, and then out of one outfit into another, she'll pop in. Nice. And That's old. School. Yeah. That's oh, old like school. the TV show where she used to yeah. spin around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She'd just spin around. But it kept bugging me because it it happened a couple like it happened on a key moment that I was just like, really, really. Well, that made sense. A beat drops me, and all of a sudden she just changes like magically. Um, But I I think well, I I got a counterpoint for that. Okay, go for it. What you got? You seen the outfit, her uniform, her yeah, her garment, Uh her armor, whatever you want to put it. She was wearing stuff that was other stuff. Yeah. No, no, the no. The dresses no. that she had to put on. Oh, you're no. just saying that it's it would have never been under there. Like you could see her arms and everything else, and she just magically like, boom! It's she didn't even like do the whole like rip off the clothes she and it was under. another outfit underneath. Like, that's here, no that. That's here, no that. I'm not so, going to drag this movie on. on, on. A sports fit clothes, I felt like, because oh. she didn't like. Because the scene they probably showed in the trailer a few times too, or the commercials. You'll probably come up as later, is that she was upset with corsets and like the old school ways of dressing right as far as like within that particular okay. era I'll, I'll, I'll say it like this she had like she had breakaway clothes the whole movie <laughs> and then what happened it, it it wasn't happening like that that's all i'm saying it wasn't happening like that 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 was that that was just that thing that stuck out to me but i love i won't <laughs> drag this movie because the movie was i think they did a wonderful job um, giving her an origin story under his suit. Wonderful. Huh? How does Superman fit his cape under his suit? 
Yeah, it's a weird one. Mm, that's a man. He's wearing <laughs> clothes over his uniform. I mean, everybody knows he keeps the suit in the booth. Like, everybody knows that. <laughs> he just has a T-shirt on. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> like the this is this is my suit shirt. Like he just has the t shirt on. <laughs> but oh, um, shout, shout out to Doctor Strange's cape, by the way. That's another crazy. Yo, Doctor Strange's cape oh, might have been the best arm. cape. But <laughs> yes, I have to. are you still talking about Doctor Strange? Why are we doing it? Okay, shouts out to the Incredibles for teaching you why you don't do capes. I just said the cape was awesome. That's all I said. His Incredibles. Remember the Incredibles. Yeah, they're great. No capes. Yeah. Can't wait for the new one. Um, but segue in anyway, you're just moving all over this, like just out of this. Uh, they <laughs> did an amazing job. Or they did a really great job of um, telling that story. And um, they had moments that could have went like could have been like really dry. You know, when you have both like, mm, I can't say that they, they, they covered the story very well. I'll wait till y'all watch it and then I'll go in. Sense. It made sense in World War One for the colors to be muted. Right. Compared to like Batman v Superman or Man of Steel, where it just looks super it looks muted, muted. But the muted, thing yeah. is, this one I expected more blood. Like I expected blood, kind of like mm-hmm. Batman, kind of like it's like more gritty even. But this was like kind of on the same level of like Superman's. Like you see the power, but you don't see like the blood. What? Yeah, like the blood and gore, the true destruction that that could happen. Yeah, she's not. Duh, they just she's showed they had people. They had off. mutilated bodies on there though. They show people without legs and stuff. But that was that was because of war. That wasn't because she was chopping them off. He's saying that she wasn't doing. You it. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, that was like we've seen those. Those those are easy to tell. Like if you show a bomb or a war scene and you walk through there, like anybody, you're gonna see mutilated hands, limbs, and mostly it was like, hey, you saw. Mm, a leg here. Well, she or... was specifically using a sword and shield, so but she didn't we probably cut nothing would end up... off. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was. I... That's probably we'd Think have to push that to a rated R. I'd imagine. Oh yeah, 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 absolutely. Because like I got from when you see her like Mart- walking with like the sword and shield, like I got this like same vibe that I got from like three hundred, where she was yes. like walk up, just like swipe somebody's leg, and it was Shana, just like check out the blood. Movie. <laughs> and the, as check far as the, the slow movie. motion, I, I do and the... recommend. Yeah, blood. We're having the debate of taking Laura. I actually see some little kids in the movie theater. It was, uh, I would say, it's pretty safe. Um, I mean, there's some action scenes, definitely. But um, I got a. Oh here we come back to Marvel, but I kind of got a little bit of a uh, Captain America, the first oh, Avenger yeah, yeah, vibes. Yeah, people were saying fighting, that before it even released. Fighting Germans. Yeah, people. Yeah, I people were saying that even before. It got a dude named Steve. <laughs> got was. a plane with Doomsday weapon. Oh, God there, there really was, but. It does go into <laughs> Greek lore very well. I, I did respect that. It covered his Greek lore very well. And uh, um, like if you have never heard anything about Greek lore, it uh, you learn something for sure. Sweet. Well, I'm glad it came out good. Hopefully, <laughs> it rubs off on the other movies. We will see. I, just, I can't I, see the outrage when Black Panther comes out. Oh, I can't. Oh. Okay, I'm, going, I'm going. I'm going with the cape right to on. Black Panther. I know. I'm, I'm wearing a cape. I'm, a, I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna get a. Uh, uh, what is it? Tachanka? Is that the name of the place? What the hell's the place called? What? What is this home Wakanda? country? Wakanda. 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 Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna get a Wakanda what did you flag. Call it put Tachanka. A, Tachanka. It's a. It's from a video game. I just <laughs> a, 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 a healthy heat bar. A, what the fuck is that? So there's a there's a video game with a Tachanka in it. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get a Wakanda flag and fly it like uh, like the Confederate flags yeah, on the back what, of the truck. Even know what Wakanda was, man. You do your research first. And then you come here's back. what we, <laughs> we move on. Is what we gonna do? Oh, past what I but, said. Okay, we'll, Wakanda, that's the flag I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get a Tatar flag too. Fly both of them. But will you graffiti? Will you graffiti <laughs> anything? That's all I want to know. Would you graffiti with all these flags? Would you graffiti anything with the flags? No, I'm just going. What's the name? I'm just going to fly the flags on the back of the truck. Okay, like a All like right. a Confederate. Well, uh, but you want to know who did get graffiti? LeBron huh. James. His house got LeBron graffiti. LeBron James. Yeah. Uh, LeBron James. I, I seen the video. I don't know if y'all had a chance to check out the video. Uh, LeBron did a little. Um, they had him up there in the conference at uh, his LA home. Got. Mm-hmm. Graffiti, graffiti and they was saying uh racial slurs mm-hmm. and uh did anybody get the quote that he says about black people 
no matter how much money you make, mm-hmm. yep. still, being black in America is tough. It's still tough, yeah. yeah. I'm paraphrasing, still. Which is good. pretty good. Uh, he, did, he, he handled it very well, which he's obviously matured over the years, and he handles a lot of this stuff, like just stuff in general, really well. So, Like, how do you want him to... Like, how would anybody want him to act on there? It's kind of. I mean, that that was the way everybody. I I think that was the way everybody would expect him to act. Now, I mean, I guess you could be. I don't know. I guess you could be a dick about it. <laughs> white motherfuckers, all you white mother. I mean, he could have did that if he wanted to, but nah, I mean, man. he did endorsements. Yeah, so that's that's right. right. yeah. endorsement. And plus, that's probably kind of what they were hoping for. Exactly. exactly. I'm surprised nobody. I'm surprised nobody's okay. prodded. Yeah. As far as try to get him to sit there and say some salacious shit, he <laughs> he actually is one of the um, up, up up on a mic. He is probably one of the best in the NBA. I'm not gonna say history and all that, but like in the NBA, he typically says or he he typically thinks um, and then expresses his feelings. Or at least that's the way he comes off. He could just be freestyling it all. So. Right. Um, I'm pretty sure there was somebody in that audience that was. Or he has an awesome media coach. Bing, that that could be too. Like, if we want to be simple about it, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, that's true. Because he hasn't had too many like bad media moments. Uh Oh, he hasn't. I mean, across the board, like he's been pretty solid uh, with everything. But yeah, I mean, it's it sucks. It's one of those things that it's like, it's one of those that there was a really one of the shows that I listen to like every day is uh, called the Dan Levertard Show, and it's a it's a It's on ESPN, but it's about as far from a sports show as you can get while still, like, peppering in some sports stuff. But they just kind of touch on it. But one of the things that uh, he said was, uh, like, he was like, I don't want to talk about it. He said, because it's so fucking easy to just be like, yeah, that's bad. Don't write nigger on somebody's wall. Bad, 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 bad. But then when somebody has, like, a really, like, a racial conversation that requires a little bit more thought, everybody's like, I don't want to touch that. Like, everybody can so easily have the opinion, the correct opinion on this, because it's fucking obvious. Um, Yeah. So, let's bring it home a little bit. Have you all... No, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, well, yeah, kind of of pair it off of what he was talking uh, talking about regarding... uh, Oh, yeah, racism is bad. No, no, no. But then when it comes time to actually have an in-depth discussion, exactly. because it's kind of there's certain levels to racism. Yeah, there's sure. overt racism. Mm-hmm. It was like, get off my or like cross burning. Get off my uh, get out of my country. Right. Uh, fuck them all. Burn them. <laughs> let God sort them out later type fuck, shit. Fuck them all. The dickers, and then there, there's money. overt racism. And then there's covert racism. Mm-hmm. There's some shit that is done. Secretly. Mm hmm to kind of put other races or other genders or religions, this, that, and the other, uh, to kind of push them back at this, that, and the other. Yeah. Absolutely. And then there's also racism in a sense of it's a subconscious thing. Like you don't even realize that you are being racist when it comes to certain things. Right. Yeah. And so it's very telling as far as like everyone's so quick to pair it and so uh, quick to signal, yo, this is what you don't do when yeah. it comes to the uh, to the overt racism. Mm-hmm. But with the covert racism, it's kind of funny how no one really wants to get into that discussion right. to kind of address it and to kind of better or get a better understanding of, oh, I didn't realize I was doing that. Maybe I should right. sit there and uh, back or take a few steps back or hesitate the next time I do or say a certain way or a certain thing and go from there. Exactly. Uh, that's yeah. just always kind of funny to me. That's yeah, yeah. what you'll notice. Absolutely. That's, I mean, yeah, like you said, it's very true. Like, that's one of the things that makes it <clears> – <throat> like, you see a lot of people having a discussion. Obviously, it was big on the ESPN when it happened. And, I mean, it's like I said, it's a very easy thing to come down on the uh, quote-unquote correct side of it. Uh, you didn't see anybody but like, well – Here's the thing. It was bad, but they did use a different color spray. Like, you didn't see any takes on the other side of it. There was no other way to go. It was just easy to be like, no, bad. Like, okay, yeah, all right. But then when we want to have, if we need to, rather have a more in-depth discussion when it comes to race or anything like that or something that has occurred, everybody kind of like is walking on eggshells. So it's it's funny to see it like yeah like you said when it's obvious everybody's like yeah it's bad fuck that no bad LeBron good bad nigger wait no I said it wrong good nigger <laughs> <laughs> it's like wait that's even worse 
and then someone gets trapped. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, absolutely. It's, it's funny. He's like, go ahead and let that out, man. Right? Like, yeah. yeah. That's a, that, I would that, love, that I would, covert racism. I would love so that much. subconscious I would level. Love oh, so much more. <laughs> We're about to have words, Gary. <laughs> No, I'm saying that would be hilarious if a reporter did that. It'd be so fucking funny. No, it wouldn't. No, bad. bad no, good, no, it wouldn't. Good LeBron. I mean, good nigger. Wait, no, I'm sorry. Ah. <laughs> then he just switches scenes. I mean, what I meant was, walking. he's so well spoken. <laughs> it's like, all right, I'm in, I'm, I'm in too deep. Then you just switch scenes and he's walking out of the office with his box. <laughs> 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 it's just a, a box with his name tag in it. Just stick it out. He's walking out of the office. They're slamming the door behind him. Yes. But you were thinking it. <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm not the only one. Help, please. No, it's, it's so stupid. God, man. Yeah, it's always something. Always some racist shit going on. Um, Shane, did you have anything to add? Brent's just laughing his ass off. <laughs> as, as, a, as a lot of... Um, yeah, what you about to say, I have a lot of thoughts. Shana? You, want, you, you chime in, just. I yeah, missed yeah. most of that conversation due to technical difficulties. He was chopping up again, so. Damn it. Chop and screw. Yeah. Damn it. You'll hear it on the record. <laughs> you'll, you'll hear it when we uh, release the episode. Fuck. Don't worry. Yeah. Right. I'll have afterthoughts. <laughs> um, God dang it. I don't know what so to do. With, yeah. with, with, with all that oh. being said, um, two thoughts came to mind. And um, we don't even have to go into them, but two thoughts came to mind. Um, one, when you are having those kind of like racial conversations with friends or sometimes strangers, like strangers that you can have these conversations with, mm -hmm. um, like how do you how do you really feel when it when it's happening? Like how do you feel? <laughs> Um, just in general? Yeah. Well, I mean... Say, hold on, repeat that question. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm figuring <laughs> everybody at one point in time has had these conversations with either friends or maybe even strangers of some sort about race, race relations, kind of like how, um, you, you know, overt, covert, uh, institutionalized racism, mm. things like that. How How do you generally feel when you're when you know that conversation's about to happen and as you yeah. like go into do it. Do you mean no, Do you ahead. mean with people that are like people of color who experience it or people of non people? Like non, non people of color. People <laughs> who are non, non people. Your... People who don't experience it yeah. versus people who would understand. People who don't experience it. I can't it. speak right now. But I think you said it <laughs> better than that. That makes sense. Well, that makes people, sense. People people that have that do not experience it who may uh, display. Oh, okay, you're saying people that might have uh, been on the other side of it is what you're saying. Yes, not the victims, but the victors. Mm, <laughs> I know that's not I the right word. No, that's not the right word at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, the only thing that I can there was uh, the most recent one I can remember is uh, some good friends of mine that I hang out with a bunch. When I can, like we go out drinking and stuff, but uh, usually the way we always start the night before we go out is we end up uh, we're on the, uh, my buddy's back porch and we're drinking and stuff, and then we end up going out. But uh, this was like after I'm trying to think of which one if it was Alton Sterling or if it was it might have been what was the gentleman that was in was Alton the gentleman that was in uh, New Orleans that got shot or was that the or was Alton the gentleman that was in New York? They got gunned down. Uh, I think he's New Orleans. Was that New Orleans? The one that was outside of the gas station and got shot? He was uh, oh, selling those CDs. God, there were so many in such a Yeah, succession. that's the bad thing about it. Um, but yeah, it was after that had happened, I'm pretty sure, and me and my buddies, because my buddy, uh, buddy Ryan, he's a Republican. And I mean, both of, the, both of my friends, they're white, and we were having a really good conversation about just uh, kind of the whole thing about gun violence and police brutality and stuff like that. And it was interesting to have that conversation um, kind of from my perspective yeah, and kind of explain to them 
how I felt or how those situations made me feel, especially around law enforcement. And it was those kind of things like where I could tell when I like certain things that I was saying, like along the lines of like, yeah, like I feel like a certain heightened kind of like awareness, maybe not just maybe not like fear, but like awareness when I'm around cops and stuff like that. Or like if I get pulled over or something like that, that I have to deal with based on these experiences that I've seen. And it was interesting to kind of like see their reaction in real time. They kind of like, oh, shit, I never thought about it like that. I've never had to really think about it on that level. Like nobody really likes to fucking deal with the cops, honestly. But having that extra thing peppered in of this motherfucker might shoot me. <laughs> like that whole side of it. Okay. I could tell they were like kind of like, well, damn, I never even thought about it like that. It's kind of it's fucked up. Uh, have to, having to even consider that kind of like side element just based on the fact that I've seen multiple brothers yeah. and sisters gunned down for okay. mostly no, for no fucking reason. No reason anybody should be shot down, period. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that that's probably the most recent experience I've had. Now, obviously, there's okay. are, there are some situations when I, at work, when I'm working a story or doing like uh, something like where I mean, we do we do shootings and stuff all the time, and whether the shooting, whether the perps are black, white, there's always like discussions and stuff like that based on like demographics and shit like that mm-hmm. that comes up, and I kind of have to like <clears throat> at sometimes be on the side of kind of what are the kind of stamp kind of what do you say like what are the motives behind this? Well, yeah, th- yeah, motives, and then also trying to stamp out and make sure there's not a judgment coming from any direction around me. Uh, as far as oh, this happened because we're in this neighborhood, and gotcha. you know, there's a lot of these in this neighborhood, so duh, like that kind of shit. Like I kind of have to be like, all right, let's make sure okay. nobody, and, and then not to say anybody in particular is doing that on a regular basis. This is one thing I'm always. It's just like the same thing with the cops. You become because of experience, you become aware of it and almost ready for it like a fucking defensive lineman. When the ball gets hiked, you're like, all right, nigga, let's go. <laughs> like when something happens, you're like, all right, like, wait a minute. All right. Where's the ball at? Like you, you automatically, that shit comes on automatically. And it's something that I think a lot of people on the other side, if they're not, um, a minority, they don't ever have to even fucking have that switch come on mm-hmm. because they're not even thinking about it. But then when you have a good conversation with somebody and they realize like, Oh shit, like you're, having to consider elements that I'm not even having to think about. It's interesting to see their reaction, especially when it's reaction where that actually thinks they're, where it actually seems like they're taking it in and it's going to be something that they retain because you want everybody to kind of understand. Like if you're not in the same shoes as somebody, at least understand why I'm wearing these shoes. You feel me? So, but yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Shana Webb, y'all want to, Y'all want to throw anything on on that or? Uh, there's really, it doesn't have to be long. Just yeah, there's sorry. really no <laughs> way to toss this out there as far as getting it to where a person of color is going to be able to ex- explain all that goes on as a person of color to a white person in America, as far as. A black person in America is going to have completely different experiences as an Asian in America. Mm-hmm. And an Asian in Amer- American is going to have completely different issues with a Latino or a Middle Eastern, this, that, and the other. And there's different things that go on. There's different things that have to... There's different preconceived notions about yeah. each of these races. Mm-hmm. And as far as it being acted on, there's just no way to kind of explain to you, uh, explain to people that as we talked about before with W.E.B. Du Bois, how there's a, as far as with black people, as an example, there are two, or like you kind of have to battle two different, or two different people within yourself. You got to handle as far as process things as a black person, and you have to process things as an American. And you got to sit there and kind of find ways to make, or have that meet to where you're more, for lack of better words, malleable to society in white America, or in white America, as far as having to sit there and put up a, like, not a front, or not a face or a mask, no. but just kind of a, a way of, of presenting yourself and going from there. And as far as having to sit there and battle 
your blackness versus your self as an American, there's there's really no way of just fully explaining that. Mm-hmm. You can word it out, you can put it in a book, and you can sit there and just gra- have it to where people can kind of grasp or kind of get an idea. But there's no real way to get them to understand that, no, and there's no real way to get a person, Asian American, to have that understood for a black person or for a white person. So as far as it, not to say there shouldn't be a conversation, but from what I believe there actually, as far as what it, there's just really no way to actually put that out there as far as what LeBron was talking about, as far as like being black in America is tough. Oh, fuck that. You make millions. You're sit there and like, you're right. idolized by th- th- thousands. There's no way that you have it tough. And, and that's usually the thing that always people bring up as a crutch to become defensive is the fact, oh, they're rich. Their life is perfect. Yeah. And that comes up across the board. I mean, whether it's something racial or otherwise, like that's one of the things that a um, lot of people have a, the, a problem of bringing up as a crutch yeah. for there's no way they've got it hard because they're rich. Yeah. It's like, you know, racial problems, mm-hmm. mental health issues that some yeah, of these people absolutely. may have dr- issues with drugs or mm-hmm. this, that, and the other. It was like, oh, they're rich. Fuck, boo hoo, whatever. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. As far as it's, I'll say that to say this. It, it's good to, that as far as any non person of colors to engage in a conversation, mm-hmm. uh, that's definitely something that shouldn't be avoided, as we talked about regarding the covert racism. Right. Uh, a conversation should at least be made uh, regarding trying to get an understanding or trying to get some type of equal footing or some type of idea of what someone is going through or what somebody goes through from there. Mm-hmm. Um, it shouldn't be something that just kind of pushed aside. It's like, no, post-racial Obama was president. Clearly things were where it needs to be now. So, right. Yeah. And you know, okay. as, as this past election has shown, that's clearly not the case. Things mm-hmm. have kind of regressed in that aspect. And as far as, yeah, that, hell, just no, 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 I got you. By I got all you. means engage in the conversation. Yeah. Shana. Shana. Uh, it's interesting for me uh i'm surrounded by a lot of multicultural people so i love having those conversations Mm -hmm. and it's kind of a big topic we have especially my husband again he's vietnamese Mm -hmm. so we're always talking about the asian struggle and the black struggle and how they coincide Um, especially since his family they had a grocery store that's in the center of the hood so They get, you know, black Americans that come in there, but then they have the Somalians and then Muslims, everything coming mm-hmm. in there. So it's interesting here and his perspectives on race in America. And then I'll talk about my perspectives and stuff that happens in the news. It's an interesting conversation. And then my best friend, she's Puerto Rican. So then I get her aspects on it. And she's the Puerto Rican that passes for white. So her experiences, again, white. are totally different. Yeah, yeah, I did too. I did think See? she was white the first yeah, when, I you, when I first seen it. <clears throat> then I heard. Then yeah. Then I was like, <laughs> no, she might not be white. Then I saw her speaking that Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, nothing like that. Nothing like that. <laughs> I did when I seen her. I thought she was white. Yeah, I did too. I did too. And then, and then, which I, is yeah, it's interesting. It plays right. Completely differently. Yeah, it's like you said. It plays right into it. But no, go ahead. If I'm sorry. Yeah. So I. We have those conversations in depth, and um, I love it because, she, because of especially her, she gets those experiences where she passes as white. So um, she has a lot of questions because she doesn't get as much as, like, say, a Mexican would or right. someone who looks really Spanish. Uh-huh. So um, when it comes to things like, we'll have just an open, honest discussion, and she like, if something happens in the news, she's like, oh, well, why do some people feel this way? And I can explain it to her, and she'll really sit and think, and then, like, she's married to a really, well, she's marrying a really country white guy, so then she goes and talks to them, and he's feeling comfortable talking to me now. So it's, like, a really open, honest conversation. And That's it's good. like, as long as we can be respectful about it, yeah. and you listen with the intent to understand mm-hmm. and not right. just to respond. Really right. take into what I'm telling you and not just be on the sake of just arguing. Because right, if yeah. I see that's where you're on, I'm not going to talk to you. I have no energy. I'm not putting my energy into that. <laughs> so, I mean, just open, honest discussion and really listen to each other and try to find a solution. It's not going to be easy, but it can yeah. be done if people just fucking get off their horses for a second. Yeah. That was, uh, Brent? that's just like one of the things like, uh, yeah, Brent, go ahead. So I'll touch on something when you get done. Um, so, I think 
I'm a mixture of all three of you all. Um, I, I'm typically like for those for for people who are trying to have this like open earnest conversation that's um, meant to kind of give you know everybody can kind of like learn something in the end. Um, when when those conversations happen, when I'm in them, um, I, like I enjoy them in a, in a sense as much as you can enjoy having that like that conversation of that what that uh, weight. Um, but I also learn a little bit about the other person or maybe slight gain of trust or lack of trust afterwards, depending on how the conversation's handled. I'm with Shana, like my energy's not for that. Like I don't wake up to have those conversations, this and that. But mm -hmm. I have had those conversations, and uh, I, and I was thinking of like one of the the biggest ones that came to my mind that also ties into the LeBron graffiti thing. Um, when <clears throat> when I was in Lex, um, and Gary, you may know of this, uh, the KKK were writing, uh, you know, leave nigger, die nigger, this and that on our driveway and oh yeah yeah area yeah. around our house. So yep. like I understand having your property graffitied or written on with racist slurs and things like that and right. i've seen it when i came home from school yeah um now what it made me do was in a sense not trust those around kind of like the neighbors around because mm -hmm. if if i seen somebody like me and you are neighbors and i see somebody defiling your shit I'm going to have words with whoever's going out there. Like, we're, or at least we're going to take notes and be like, who, this is X, Y, and Z. They were doing this. This is who did it. Yeah. yeah. Like, we're going to try to have you back in some way. But if you watch people spray paint, you know, a whole driveway in the street and all that, like, you've seen this. And you're people who are retired and you ain't doing nothing except gardening your lawn and doing all this shit looking out the window. <sighs> Like, this right. is what you are sitting on your porch. Like, you watch this go down, and you let that uh -huh. slide. And for that, I like I can't be cool with that. Like, I, my trust, I know not to trust anything over here. Uh -huh. um, but when, like, I was at a bachelor party in the conversation, I was with uh, some other guys, some, uh, some other fellows, and they were talking about, oh, you know, for them, they didn't think racism was kind of, like, that big of a deal, very, like... Uh, still as prevalent mm -hmm. and they were like well you know they was talking to me as if like oh you you never really experienced any of that type of stuff at you know we know that you're you know you're a good guy safe this and that and i was like no like i've experienced all of <laughs> right that. And exactly. squirrel, squirrel. <laughs> yeah, right, it, yeah but excuse me but, <laughs> but when i and they were like no <laughs> no for real i'm like Bam. no dead serious <laughs> like and then yeah. i was like with the scroll hitting them with all the facts and That's I watched so their face change, and I yep. told them like my real thoughts and opinions. Like, um, like I'll be perfectly honest. I don't when it comes to like somebody saying like nigger, mm -hmm. uh, I don't like nobody to say it. Like mm. if a, another minority calls me a nigger, I'm probably want to punch you in the jaw. Like, <laughs> um, it gets under my skin. Even when you said it earlier, I was like. Right. I know I, you honestly like I used to say it a lot more, but being around you, I actually started saying it less. Uh, they say it a lot, yeah. And I, being around you, I honestly try to say it less. And, <laughs> but trust if, me, but if it, that nigga says <laughs> nigga all the time, <laughs> but when it comes, yeah, when it's for that reason for comedic time, and then I'm like, all yeah, right, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. But that, that's why I was like, oh, let me chill out, man. Let me fade back, man. Let me. I, I get what's happening. Let me let me fade back. So for like instances like that, I give no tolerance. Like, like yeah, you know what I'm saying for like in general, because what it yeah. means, what it stands for, like what what's really happening. Um, right. But when that conversation is about to approach, and I know like oh god, we're about to go to this conversation, uh. that shit drains the hell out of me. Yeah. <laughs> like it it almost is like I don't I don't want to do it because once that Pandora box is open, I have to go all in. <laughs> Like, I can't, what? you can't get half of it. I can't, you know, now I have to become the teacher, the master, the sensei, the sage. Right. Yeah, to represent I, a whole culture. You know what I'm saying? And I don't, I don't want to be the fucker that's got to represent everything and everybody and every moment. There's a comedian that talked about that where he was basically like he was in a traffic, like, accident with a white dude. 
He said he was like, damn it. He said he was arguing with the white dude. He said, no, it was Richard Pryor. Yeah, it was Richard Pryor time. That was one of his famous bits where he was like, he was like, then all of a sudden he calls you a nigga. Then he said, nah, he said, now nah, he said, now nah, nah, ain't a man. I'm a nigga now. He said, now nah, I gotta argue with that. Right. He's like, I don't feel like doing this right now. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's absolutely his favorite, like one of his most famous bits he talked about. He said, you know what, nigga, and he's like, God, really? Okay, all right, God dang it, I don't want to do this right now. <laughs> so, um... like that guy. I don't know. I, yeah. I I'll say that I've I don't have that conversation with many strangers anymore, unless it's yeah. just like an academic situation or a discussion situation. And I know that we can be on a on a level where right exactly said, you know like no that, curveballs coming. I, yeah, and I need to be able to respect that what what's going to come out of your mouth next is not going to deteriorate the conversation. Like like, and I need to be able to like okay, let's let me hear you your thoughts you know what i'm saying or the way you view the world right uh, absolutely type of thing yeah so that, that's just kind of my thoughts but, but this conversation brought up that in my head and i, I just kind of wanted to yeah. uh get y'all thoughts um yeah you got anything more uh-huh. lively because the only no. thing left on the docket is uh bill murr saying he don't want to be a, he don't be a house be, nigga. Right. <laughs> yeah no he didn't no no he said he, he was talking all. about one, or he was. It was an interview, and yeah. somebody was talking about being in the field, right? And it's like, oh no, sir, the field. No, I'm a house nigga. Yeah. <laughs> um, is that what you? Uh, yeah, that's it. That's literally it. That's, well, yeah. I seen yeah, that I mean, clip, and it's a not. I mean, I, I don't want to say it's a non-issue. It's like that was in poor taste. Well, right. it was in you poor got taste. Like, um, oh, Chance the get, rapper is trying to get him pulled off get, of uh, HBO. Who was? I get where you were going with that, but no. Yeah. Just no. Yeah. Come on. It's I see what you were trying to do, but just no. Uh, it's so funny. I watched it and was like Here's the other thing that I find. I just want to throw this out there just to see if I'm the only one. Up, Bill. This is a Yeah, you fucking up, Bill. Fucking um up, Bill. This is the funny thing that I found that happens to me often. It not really often, but it, it happens to me and I notice it. And I have to kinda like catch my not even catch myself, but kinda like be like, All right. What what happened, but, sir? <laughs> has have you ever been in those situations like where either like a white person either says something or somebody that's not your race either says something that it's not racist but then you automatically like you that that fucking alarm goes off and you're like mother you're like ah <laughs> like yes. you have that moment where you're like you get in that yes. defensive stance yes. like because like I can't stand like and and I know it's completely benign but like when an older person just is like just calls just boy. they don't call me boy oh, but they yeah. say boy just in convert just just and i'm like mother because you know why you know why i have that moment i'm like deep down oh. inside. that's what it is like, nigga. here's another thing friends i was in the, i was at, at my job the other day and like obviously we have downtime and then mm-hmm. like we have our station on that new dance show was on mm-hmm I was looking at the TV, like, because I thought it was the Jabberwockies, but it's this other crew called Ninja something. But Kinjas. they were good. Kinjas. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Kinjas. Um, and I was looking, and then, like, one of the white anchors was like, you trying to learn some new dance moves, Gary? And I was like, I just said, yeah. Because I was like, why? Because I'm black? That was the way I wanted. And I was like, stop. I was like, calm down. He didn't mean it like <laughs> that. Because that. you, you, you got served? Because you think you are Marion? Uh, yeah. Hi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And you're like, motherfucker. You think you're going to rise? Nah. I was just wondering if you guys had the same situations. Because I feel like I, I try to, like, rail it in real quick where I'm like, all right. I can uh, see seriously. Boy. Was- um, and- boy from older, older, older gentlemen. I'm not going to say older men and women. Yeah. If they're country, they say, if they're country when they say boy, sometimes it's just. Yeah. There's a, there's a twang. If there's a twang with that boy. <laughs> Well, no. I, well, funny. people in our country, it still kind of rubs the wrong way too, because sometimes they straight up just do not know. Yeah, yeah. And they'll do it's like, boy, it's like, mm, nah. so what? Wait, what I do? <laughs> yeah, what? Like, oh. we, were, we were moving, we were moving paintings for this lady and like cutting her grass and like doing like yard work or whatever. This is already gonna sound off to a bad start, but um, I remember moving a painting and she was like, "Hey, boy, what? why don't you hang it up over there?" And I was like. <laughs> It just turns into a wrestling match. You just crack it over her head. And I was like, maybe twelve. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, right, yeah. Young me didn't even feel like I'm not fine for that. Like, no, I'm not yeah. with it. No, you can take that with you. 
What were you about to say? Will? Just call me kid. <laughs> Don't call me yeah, boy. Like kid. If you're older than job. me, just call me kid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my last job, I had one of my uh, supervisors. He instant messaged me mm-hmm. about something. And like every now and then, as far as when he speaks with somebody and he ends the conversation, he's like, all right, I'll get back to you on that, blah, 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 carry on. He instant messaged me. <laughs> and uh, he asked me about, about something that we were working out or fixing out or sorting through. Right. And then near the end of the conversation, you could tell the conversation was wrapping up. And it's like, all right, I'll holla at you later. And I was like, holla, LOL. <laughs> it's like, like, as in the comments, like, that just sounded weird as hell to hear. <laughs> so I just, I, put, I typed, I typed it out. Holla, LOL. All right then, I right, see you later. So, I'll catch you later. That's so good. The next day, that's so funny, man. <laughs> the next day, I came to his office uh, to either talk about the, whatever that issue was or something else that came up. Mm-hmm. And on the way out, he was like, "Hey, Emmanuel." I just wanted to let you know, I didn't mean that. I, I, was. <laughs> oh, I straight up forgot about that. I was just calling. Yeah, man. I was just calling you out as far as like that. I don't hear you yeah. say that on. Oh, yeah. I yeah. wasn't. He's like, on, my bad, my on. bad, my bad. I tried. I failed. My fault. He caught me without that. The entire night. <laughs> that, yeah, he lost sleep. <laughs> he ate his dinner. Please. His fork shaking. He couldn't keep his peas on his fork. He, he was like, "Please don't let this be. Don't, don't let this be my last day. I don't want to get fired on my day off." <laughs> that's that's oh, awesome. so that just that always tickled me. Yeah, absolutely. it was just kind of it was some it was nine. Yeah, absolutely. You that's like you said. Straight up. A lot of times it's benign, but it's just funny man, when you catch it. But yeah, so Bill's an ass. Yeah. <laughs> Hat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's on the move. Hat. Yeah, shorts on the move. So a lace short similar. See, because when I first saw oh, we're doing this, short, this conversation is happening. Yes. <laughs> well, we need to end it on a hot light note. Yeah. Okay. It's driving. Right. We're forcing that truck down Bardstown right now. We're just fucking <laughs> drive. <laughs> road. We now no have what. our evoking person, and now we're talking about lace shorts. Yeah, just somebody in the background just poking. <laughs> when I first saw lace shorts, I thought I automatically thought linen shorts. Because remember when we used to rock linen shorts in high school, heavy. No, you did. I didn't. Summertime. That was the summertime jam. You used to wear linen <laughs> you shorts. You did. I didn't, sir. I have basketball shorts yeah. for life. Yeah. When, yeah, I know. That was, you, you was probably comfortable than I was. Parts <laughs> of them damn linen, linen shorts. They wouldn't even be comfortable no more. I have two but, linen uh, suits now. I do not have linen shorts. <laughs> all right. That's the good thing, man. Yeah, I'm starting to get in that old man move where I'll just get like a whole linen outfit and those like brown Bruh. barbecue shoes. Bruh. Matching hat. Been, yeah, you've been old hat. man in it yeah. since you had them uh, hooker boots, man. Uh, yeah, man. I'm just gonna start showing up. I'm just gonna like fuck it. I'm almost thirty. I'm just gonna fucking age real hard the next ten years. Shayna, have you seen <laughs> Gary's hooker boots? He's no, he fish, you know. You used no. to have those fishnet boots. God no. Mm-mm. Gary no. was rocking fishnet boots. They, they aren't Context. fishnet boots. Yeah, so. they're, <laughs> my bad. They're they were t- lace. They were lace boots. They're Tim's with a black rubber fishnet overlay over them, but they have holes in them. So it looks like a rubber. Oh, it looks like a lace, but is it's like right a there? thick rubber. What is it that right? Is that no, it? no, no. I don't. I literally don't so have them anymore. Gary was rocking I, Tim lace that he, he can now he wear with his lace shorts. First time he saw him, he started calling hooker boots. And I thought they were the nicest Tim's. I love those damn Tim's, but Brent just fucked it up. You know what? We did a lot of unforgivable things with fashion in the late 90s, early 2000s, so I'm going to let it rock. This was... I had 4X uh, tall tees and shit like that. No, that was, that, kept was, the... that was actually, like, that was a movement, 4X tees, like. Jackass, though, man. It shouldn't have been. Huh? It shouldn't have been. For our do-rags like, everywhere. Oh, hey, them do-rags is amazing. I, I never had, see, was, I had one tall tee, and I kept getting clowned I know. For, my shit, for my shit fitting. Right, yeah, yeah. I high school for my shirt fit. Why your shirt fit for, nigga? Yeah, rocking it right, so why is it man. Size and shit. Why? Why, why is it so proportionate? Right, yeah. Where's your tag at? Right. Why the tag? On? How many right. X's you got on your shirt? Yeah, exactly. You ain't got you used at least to go to three. You ain't. That'd be the shit. move, man. Before a party, go to Foot Locker, get them damn shirts. Nah, hey, Foot Locker and at uh, the African like, store to match the shoes. God, man. Yeah, you get we the African like, store, get them knockoff uh, uh, Air Maxes. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was Feli's like... Remember heavy? Yeah. I saw a chick walking down the street wearing Feli's that matched her shirt. And I was like, man, mm-hmm. did you just step out of a time machine or something? <laughs> <laughs> it was so weird. 
Like she was, she was, she was trying to be fresh, but man, she just looked like 2004. Real heavy. It's coming back, man. Bell bottoms. Once they come out with uh, Air Forces again, like, like. I know I'll be seeing people like uh, icy whites again. Oh my goodness. Well, I see a lot of them where they paint, paint them and shit. Oh yeah, actually, that's yeah. a pretty cool uh, little thing going on now. Like people are, like recustomizing their shoes, the ones and like restoring them and stuff. Yeah, yeah like that's, that's a pretty dope thing. Like especially with people's different concepts they're coming up with. Because I seen some Captain American joints that was some Air oh. Force Ones. Whew, crazy. See, the stupid thing about freaking uh, forces, the ones that I couldn't never get behind was the clear ones, where you had to match the where you had to wear the socks that were a different color to like make the shoot. Like, hey, that was I weird. had clear Chuck Taylors. I what? I made mean, that was awesome. <laughs> wow. I didn't know they made clear chucks. I just thought it was clear forces. We need to see a picture of that. What's not awesome is when you are wearing them in the summer and your feet start sweating and I'll, then the I'll, shoes start steaming. <laughs> you got funky feet. <laughs> funky feet. I had them in high school and my favorite thing, I had these Skittle socks and I would wear the clear oh, converses goodness. with the Skittle socks. Right. This girl is sh- like walking up, rocking like clear chucks idiot. with finger and socks. It's on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> like a roast chicken in Tupperware. <laughs> <laughs> Just cooking all summer. <laughs> so Somebody like, tur- she lays out on the uh, thing. They're like, turn the turn 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 meat wing. over. Right, yeah. <laughs> Mama, my feet is hot. Or <laughs> you know, shoes, you simple wing bastard. <laughs> Like, oh man, I get my mama turn the AC back on. Ah, uh, oh, that just made me cheap. I hate, I hate when you have to have food in a plastic bag and then the bag so they get sweaty. Oh, yeah, and yeah. you reach in there. And that's that was what, just, uh, what was it? Let's see. That's what you that's know the thing. It was good because <laughs> for some reason, crystals had I don't under, I still don't understand why the hell crystals have plastic bags. But you would get your food, and by the time you would get back, because we would always eat it in college when we was at Eastern, and it would be in the dead of winter. We get hot food. By the time we get back to the room, all the little hamburger boxes would be falling apart because they done sweat it the whole way. Because most of the time we'd be walking. I just that shit used to make me so mad. I think it's one of the only people that do, and like fish places do plastic bags too. We got like half the track. Yeah, you know, I, come on, I know, right? Yeah, we exactly. Hey, you want to end positive note? Hey, I'm deep. glad because that was that was so deep. Like, hey, what's that place y'all got up there? The uh, what's it? Moby Dicks. Everybody has a Moby Dicks, don't they? Oh, we no, we ain't got a Moby Dicks down here. Lex mm. don't have a Moby Dick. We got Charlie's. Nah, that ain't a Moby <laughs> Dick. Fish. <laughs> plastic I bag. Charlie's. It's always a fish to use I plastic. I don't trust hey, that. I don't trust that at all. Charles? I'm really sad. I miss Long John's. It used to be by my house, and they closed it to make a Kroger gas balloon thing. Hey, you're welcome. Long John. <laughs> but we got a Popeyes. Popeyes. Street. I still ain't tried there. I've been on a fish cake <gasps> if you by now. But uh, yeah, I usually eat Charlie's. What made you gasp? That's all I want to know. Have you tried Popeyes? <laughs> I haven't tried Popeye's fish. Gary, That's what I was gonna say. Gary oh. lived at Popeye's for a little bit. <laughs> it's because there's like, one down the street. Right. They built one right now. He shows up. He doesn't even have to stand in line. They just pick him next. They're like, no, no, no. There, you slide over. Every time, oh, sir, every sir Gary. Time I would go to Brent's to record or hang out. I would stop at Popeye's on Bardstown first before I went to his house. Literally. I'd be like, are you in town? Man, I've been at Popeye's for a few minutes, man. I ain't did nothing. Bro, I've been waiting on you for like 40 minutes. Like, why did you just say something? It's like <laughs> off, off, off Waterson, that one on Barstown right there. The oh, ghetto one. And don't, don't, oh, don't let our episode go long because he'd be like, yo, Popeye's closed. We're going to have a problem. <laughs> we go, I didn't get it before I got here. I need to get some Popeye's before I leave. <laughs> I like, bro. So much better there in Louisville. I swear it's not as good. I think it's because proximity. Because now I can eat it whenever, and I'm like, I don't want that. I don't want no part of it. <laughs> but yeah. You want to you so, know yeah. what I don't want no part of? Yeah. These god dang lace shorts. <laughs> <laughs> so we got romp. So is this the fact? Are we just building up the, the catalog of summer fashion between the rompers and the lace shorts? <laughs> it's ain't that my fashion. This ain't my I'm, fashion. No, no, no. Uh-uh. But no, I, that's I when you like know. That's, that's when your girl knows you. Go, she's gonna get some because she you you wore the romper for the day oh, and you got the lace, lace shorts. Right, shorts for the night. 
I like that. It's a signal. I like that. <laughs> it's your day, baby. Just for you. I mean, Shana did say she what? would she How? would allow rompers in the house, but only because she doesn't want other people to see her eye candy outside mm-hmm. of the house. So lace you shorts could dog. be a thing. What? How you gonna these? You can see. I'm looking at a picture of him. Yeah. You can just oh, see go your... to the actual site hey, that he. Po- oh, oh snap! That, hold that on. Link. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Who don't enjoy oh. free balling? I mean. Yo, my dude has a matching hat and top. Or a lace shirt. It's a lace shirt, this? lace shorts. What's with this biracial ass picture? There's an Indian dude. There's Everybody's a white guy. Everybody's included, damn it. Everybody's included. Uh, Everybody can eight. wear them. All right. You know that's the thing now to get one of each on there. Yeah. Huh? Like they could find, they couldn't find underwear the same color as the shorts to make it look. It's all tidy whiteies. Hey man, some people are still rocking tidy whiteies. Don't judge them. Or G strings. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'll see what surprised. And the black person would be in yellow. Oh yeah, is he Go black or Native American? I think he's Native American. No, nah, I was really? gonna make a Power no. Rangers joke, but I couldn't. <laughs> it, that's what it looks like. Look at this. I know y'all. Wait, it's probably picture y'all. Was saying. no the what is that? Look at that. Didn't I send the photo to you? I didn't say, oh, yes, I he did. Is well, it he the same when you said? <laughs> if you, it's the actual site where they're selling it. It's like fifty dollars for just the shorts. Fifty dollars. Yeah. But then, like, um. Hell, you been to Victoria's Secret? Yeah, you true. see the laces that they get there, yeah, and the prices they get. True. It's about the same. That's true. That makes sense. Lace is very difficult. That's right. Yeah, it's it's difficult. Yeah, it's difficult to wear too. <laughs> I could probably pull it. Off. What'd you I'm, say? I was like, like, I could probably pull it. Off. There you yeah, go. Could, well, on the beach, uh, on the beach only. Beach you, only. When you try it out, Web, will you tell your wife to uh, write in and tell us um, if you pulled it off or not? Nothing dirty. I, mean, I don't want to. I don't want to hear about dirtiness. But he's about to get a, yeah, like he's up. Yeah, he's that's the beach a, outfit. He's man. about to get a filter on that. Ooh, not yes. the beach. <laughs> Coming out the water, just what? Just glistening. What kind of shoes do they got on all this gross. bullshit? <laughs> <What's> this? <laughs> throw you back. <laughs> throw you back in the water. <laughs> right, throw him back. Don't, don't come back out. <laughs> like, go back in there. Sorry. <laughs> Caught too much. Or this net cat uh, caught too much. <laughs> you come out with a uh, with a damn fish stuck in your uh, in your shorts like a uh, like a somebody done discarded See? an old plastic bottle. See, I treat treat my girl, man. That's See, so I, funny. I, I, brought, I brought dinner. Oh, <laughs> <ugh>. <laughs> why are your shorts an environmental hazard? What the hell is going on? Like we can't have this. You are hurting the ecosystem with these shorts. Captain Planet Gary, would be pissed. Gary, yeah, Captain I just Planet. Just want you to know uh, all the comments you keep making. Are puns like you can make great puns out of them? It's like, Trump, oh, man. why is what's in your short <laughs> environmental hazard? <laughs> oh, you know, <laughs> I don't pay attention to it. It's a good one. Oh, we're gonna have that one. We're gonna make shirts, all right, but not like we're gonna make ready to wrap up. <laughs> get ready to wrap up. We can't get this truck off bars down. We're stuck on bars down. We gotta get the hell out of here. <laughs> we're stuck. We gotta get this thing got out of hand. Oh my goodness. Got out of hand. We gotta do love leg with pseudo later. <laughs> thank you, thank you. As always, thank you. Brent, I wanna close this out, my brother. As I stare at these pictures of weird uh, lace, the lace out, shorts. Of lace Are you still outfit. looking at lace shorts? Yeah, there's only I, one thing. I'm trying to see if there's any more outfits. I think Gary's gonna get lace shorts. I think hey, he's baby. gonna be the one. Can I get for a vacation. Baby. Oh, no, let's let's get her watching. opinion right now. Ask her. I am. Baby, I'm gonna get this. Can I get this? If I get this, will you still stay with me? Better ask for permission. You say yeah, so. So you. Only thing is, it's tidy whities. Only thing we can do tidy whities, baby. Hey, man. Then don't. All right. Free ball this I shit. Okay, man. All right, commando. What's that? Corn. They didn't have it in the car. What? All right, I'll get something a little bit. Is oh, she gonna make everybody a plate? Is that what no, we're she doing? just back uh, uh, elote in a cup. El what? Elote corn. It's the corn with the mayo and the uh, what's all on it. Mayo, um, cheese. Mayo, cheese. Yeah, tahin. So I'll yeah. be there in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> there in an hour. Yeah, because we went we some little lote so bad. And they was eating a lote like on every fucking scene. So we was like, God, I want some, someone. But yeah. So as Shouts always, out you want to close out? Try it. I'm good. I'll, maybe after. <laughs> no, you might as well just try it and tell us your recommend. You know, if you like it or not, on on air, man. We it's make this good. a food thing. Do an oaf eats. We yeah, talking about it. Oh yeah, we need to do like right. oaf. All right. We'll- uh, 
Thank you, everybody, for joining us for this fun episode. Yeah, let's say one more thing. No, close I want to ask there. you. No, you close it out. Say, you good? Say it. Save it. Okay. Why <laughs> got you lean back all the way? All right. Before I go, first off, thank you guys so much. Now, here's the thing that I have a problem with before we leave. Uh, why in the hell are these salad places serving bowls of what they call uh, kale soup, which is simply collard greens? And I don't understand why y'all want to keep relabeling our shit that we've been eating for years. Uh, white people, those have been in our households for hundreds of years, and this is not new. Kale ain't new. It's collard greens. Collard greens. <laughs> not collard, collard greens. Thank you all for watching. I am Kid Swift, a.k.a. Gary Wright, a.k.a. that bad mamma jamma. With me, as always, Big is country. Mr. Brown. Oh, LL's in the building, a.k.a. Ooh. Liquid, a.k.a. The Shogun, a.k.a. I'm not doing all my a.k.a.s. Fuck that. <laughs> so, as always, Shayna. Shayna MB on Twitter. She just shakes her head. Uh, I can't reveal my nicknames. We're not there yet. Okay. <laughs> We can't do that. Not yet. But Shane of the Great is enough right now. Mm, that's pushing it. <laughs> that's pushing it. And of course, always Mr. Webb, W E B B the boys Web. in the back. Eight five nine on Twitter. Uh, Instagram is now not private anymore. Uh-oh. What the hell? How to hide? Uh oh. Everything. Uh, Snapchat. Late Avoid that. I'm just talking on there. Don't worry about it. Late short pictures coming soon. <laughs> 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 I will delete you if I see Lay Short's pictures out of either one of y'all. Hold my time, or I will delete you. Hey, that's so, we'll I'm still be I'm friends in real life, but I will delete you. Podbean, iTunes, Stitcher, Google Whole Nine Play. Yards, yeah, Google Play. Uh, we may use you SoundCloud. Actually, yeah, probably. they're it's inside baseball, but yeah, their thing's kind of weird. But yeah, we'll figure it out. Thank you guys so much. As always, we join you every week to talk about the crazy shit that's happened to us and to the world. Hopefully, we will always be back each and every week as long as the world is still here. I'm Gary. For Brent, Shayna, and Webb, we will see you guys next time. Peace. Peace. Adios. Arrivederci. Oh, discussions, OAF discussions. <laughs> wait, wait, what did the truck driver? Mm-hmm. What? You All got I to watch heard truck- was I got to watch a truck driver and then your face leaned in, but no words came out. <laughs> I thought that you was were the building anticipation. I-, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I saw the whole thing and I was like, wait a minute. Like, I got to watch a truck driver and she I'm like, me is in. that a like- drink? A dance? Is that a, <laughs> is that a suplex? Like, is what? that what kind of move is that? What, what do they that- do? Is that an elbow drop? <laughs> is, that, is that a new position? Is that so, Amazon was a couple weeks no, ago? Um, now it's the truck driver? He gets stuck on Marchtown Road. It was awful. Oh, no. Oh, that's a terrible place for it. Like, full semi? <laughs> <laughs>